Hey guys, in this video, I'd like to show you how you can import Phoenix simulations inside of Unreal Engine 5. So let's get started. So let's start by creating a sphere. And then I will create a gasoline explosion preset. Then let's go to the output rod and we want to save the files somewhere then i will change my save type as open vdb file and click save and the final thing is i will change my grid resolution a few times so that our simulation will run faster and it will be easier on the unreal side so let's start our simulation and while this is running we can go in here and in order to load the open vdb files uh, inside of unreal you'll need to install a plugin that can be found on this link over here and i will link this into the video description so these guys in here did a great job so thanks guys the plugin is awesome and in order to install it, you can scroll down a bit and you can find a releases link. So if you click on it and click on the latest release, and if you scroll down, you will find a link that's called uh, sparse volumetrics EU. And then you can unzip this file and Put the archive inside of this folder in here it c program files epic games eu underscore five zero engine plugins and you just drop the folder in here then you'll need to load unreal engine 5 and load the plugin so uh, you can go into the edit plugins and then type sparse oops and then you need to load the plugin and then restart unreal so that uh, the plugin will be started after this i have created an empty scene inside of unreal and i think okay so let's press stop i think that uh, we have enough frames of our simulation like so and looking good then let's get back to unreal and import the files so i will go into my uh, folder where i have uh, the files created and i'll drag a file and drop it inside of unreal and it will uh, prompt me uh, which channels that I wish to import. So I will disable the velocity and the... Actually, let's leave the temperature again. And if the cache is really large, you can use this uh, quantization type uh, so that uh, you can uh, compress the cache. And uh, this will make uh, the behavior inside of Unreal smoother. But in this case, our uh, cache is fairly low res, so Unreal can handle it quite well. And then uh, if it's animated, we can uh, import it as a sequence. In this case, uh, I won't import it as a sequence right now. So uh, let's first import only the single file and see how this looks. And actually, uh, let's delete some of these things over here so that uh, our scene uh, is not so cluttered and let's drop our uh, explosion file in at the viewport and if we look around we can see that we have something but it's fairly transparent so what we can do in here um, in the primary volume we can choose uh, which channel we wish to use. So 
let's choose the smoke inside of the fuel and immediately we can see that it looks a lot denser and for the secondary volume let's choose the fuel and we can see that some fuel showed up but it's very weak so what we can do um, to make it brighter is scroll down a bit and in the shading rollout we can increase the black body temperature and if we want to increase the intensity we can crank this up as well and in here we get our cache but we can see that our smoke is very transparent and it's not looking so dense uh, as in 3ds max so what we can do is go in here and we can see that uh, we have a material assigned to our volume so i can just press on this browse button and it will select our material so i can double click at them and it will show me some more options for uh, our material then i can press on the density multiplier and if i increase it you'll see that our smoke became a lot denser and looks much better now okay and for the albedo if you wish to change this you can just scroll down and see how the different values work okay uh, the next thing that i want to show you is the other shader that allows you to uh, load volume so let's get this out of the way and let's go into the all classes and scroll down a bit like so and let's create a vdb principled actor so what this does is this will not use the unreal's material system but a hard-coded principled volume shader and this way um, it allows us uh, to use the unreal path tracer which will produce uh, a lot better results so let's click on this and in here for the primary volume let's pick our smoke again and then for the secondary volume let's pick our fuel and again we can choose the density multiplier you can see for uh, this shader the controls are exposed in here and let's crank up the intensity a bit and do it like so and you can see that uh, inside uh, this lit view mode it looks a bit dotty but oops duplicated it so uh, let's go into the path tracing mode and we can see that it looks much much better and we can see the uh, other uh, shader is not rendered inside of the path tracing mode so let's go back to the lit mode and I want to show you something else so um, in here uh, we have a temperature channel so uh, let's say that uh, your simulation is using temperature and it's not using fuel so the difference is um, that in Phoenix the temperature goes uh, from usually from uh, 300 degrees Kelvin to uh, a few thousand so uh, if I select my temperature we can see that uh, the cache turns blue and that's not entirely correct so uh, what I found out is that uh, if you use a temperature in here for the black body temperature you need to use a value of one and then you can control the intensity from the black body intensity so if you use temperature make sure to use the black body temperature and set it to one instead of uh, a few thousand like it's by default and 
the next thing that I want to show you is how you can import the sequence. So let's delete this guy in here, like so, and let's go to all the content and let's delete these guys from here. Then let's go back to the caches and drop it in here like so. And this time I will disable the velocity and the temperature so that it loads the caches faster. And then let's import it as a sequence. Then press import. And we'll have to wait a bit. Okay, so now um, our simulation is imported. So I'll drag and drop it in here. And in order to load it as a sequence, we'll need to create a level sequence. So I'll create one and let's call it explosion, for example. And let's drag our file in here into the sequencer. Then let's click on the plus sign and choose a VDB sequence. And then if we scroll our timeline, we can see our explosion. So I can change the range. And if I press play, we can see how our simulation looks like. And now again, we can tweak the shader. So uh, what I can do is I can choose the explosion sequence uh, uh, as my primary volume and for my secondary volume I can choose the fuel and in here let's increase the temperature and if we scroll down like so we can see our explosion in all its glory. Okay, guys, thanks a lot uh, for checking the video and I hope it is useful. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.